So I gave you all a choice between these four dinos, two normal ones, one kind of regular one, and that furry thing. And what did you all pick? Really? Really? Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we are doing what you asked for. Um, I thought it was bad I put the poll out already. I'm already regretting it because y'all voted 53% for me to take Mammoths into a boss fight. So here you go, 19 Mammoths, 1 UD, all sitting at Red Ob because they don't fit in my thing because they're giant freaking huge dinos that have a giant box and they don't stack properly. So I'm hoping that all 19 of these babies are inside this circle to get them to go in, but we'll find out what happens when we get inside. So we're going to take these guys in, take them into... Um, into the brood mother uh, is what we're gonna do. Uh, just to give you an idea, we're running about 20k health on every single one of them. Some have like 21 because uh, I just clicked a couple too many times on them. Uh, running about 700 melee damage on each of them. Go a little bit less, obviously, if they have more health. Uh, and they are all using 64.9 armor journeyman mammoth saddles. So. Uh, I think that they should be okay. I think it might be a longer fight. Um, I think where the problem might occur is uh, grouping up around the boss. Um, so we're just going to go in there and find out. But I think grouping is going to be a huge, huge issue. Um, I am bringing a shotgun just in case, uh, just to make sure that we have the opportunity to, to, to use it if we need it. Uh, but let's go ahead and take on the brood mother here really quick um, and get this done. So uh, 10 survivors, 20 trames. I got the 20 tames. I'm hoping... I'm a little worried about like this guy right here. I think he might not make it in. Um, we'll see how many mammoths actually make it in. Uh, it's gonna be very interesting. Um, I do want to be on top of my UD to find it. I think I think we'll get them all, but there might be like one or two that are left out because uh, these things are just so big. Uh, worst case scenario, what you could do is use a Quetzal uh, flying on top and drop them in um, by pulling them off the Quetzal kind of thing. Uh, have someone ride them, have the Quetzal on top, and then you just kind of drop them off. Um, but let's go ahead and take on the Broodmother um, once we find our UD in here. Uh, that is a Mammoth, not a UD. That is not what I wanted. Uh, I'm going to whistle neutral. I really want to find my UD here. I think that's the UD right there. Yep. Yep, that's it. So we're going to give them a nice little shout. They're going to go in. They're going to take some damage. Uh, hopefully this UD makes it. What I'm going to try to use is the UD for more cleaning up some of the bodies uh, and getting some of that nice uh, chit and, and hide and stuff. So uh, this is what I was worried about. You see how they're all kind of grouping up on there? Um, they're actually doing some pretty significant damage. That's 806 damage on some of these guys. That's I, I'm going to take that as a win. This is going to be pretty easy, I think. Uh, this is going to be easier than I thought it would be. I thought these mammoths wouldn't do as much damage as they are doing. Um, but they're definitely taking out this stuff. We'll have to look at their health afterwards. Um, assuming the health holds up, I think it's going to be fine. As I said, we've kind of got a good group of mammoths here. These are all uh, base tamed kind of area. Um, they're not like mutated or anything special like that. Um, so these are pretty simple. Uh, you can see them kind of breaking up. They're definitely clustering up a lot worse than I thought they would. Um, so I'm going to try to maybe get a couple of these mammoths to um, peel around the outside. So I'm going to jump off this UD really quick. See if I can get this mammoth to uh, detach. It's not going to. Um, so we'll just see what they do and just let them keep going. Uh, keep up that courage roar. Um, they're really just stockpiling on there. Uh, we're a minute and a half in and it's almost halfway, uh, which is fine with me. You can definitely tell that courage roar is making a big difference. 25% extra damage. Um, they're not really taking as much damage as I thought either. About 112, 113 in certain places. Uh, when her breath goes out, I'm sure it's going to take a little bit more. When she does her acid breath, uh, it might be a little bit more than we wanted and preferred. Probably turn the gamma up so you guys can see a little bit better. Okay, mode, get some nice, beautiful pictures of this. Everyone, so you guys can see and the beautifulness. I'm getting freaking webbed pretty hard here. Let's try to get this turned around. Yeah, we definitely got it down. Um, so uh, with that being said, we're definitely going to kill her here. We're not going to lose a single mammoth, which is good news, which means I will leave a poll. Or actually, let me go down in the descriptions uh, what you want me to run next with the mammoths. Uh, if you think Beta Broodmother, maybe some Megapithecus or something of that nature, just let me know and reach out. 
uh, and tell me what you're thinking. Uh, and I will uh, bring these babies in there because at this point we're just kind of bringing them. Uh, they've gone further than I already thought they would. So uh, go mammoths. <laughs> um, but other than that, we've got what we wanted. We're ready to go. Uh, these mammoths look pretty strong. I don't think they could take on Alpha. Uh, I think I'd have to breed them up a little bit, but who knows? Maybe we take them all the way up there. So let me know down in the comments down below what you think I should be taking these mammoths into next. Uh, and then tomorrow after this video posts, so that'll be Saturday, there'll be a new poll in the community page. I will link to it and pin it in the comments down below. Uh, if you want to vote on the next uh, dinos I should be running with, um, I will substitute the mammoths out with something else that's a little bit enjoyable, uh, and I'll start breeding those up while we continue these mammoths until they uh, no longer exist and get slaughtered. So uh, we're going to take these mammoths in and uh, that'll be it for this, guys. Uh, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you like these new little fun dinos that we're putting in different places. Um, but of course, as always, make sure you guys have a fantastic day and we'll see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.